Hi, um, welcome to Exmoor Blades. This is my first YouTube video, so you'll have to bear with me, it's not going to be that professional. Um, and this is primarily for my benefit. I, I want to record my progress as a knife maker, um, and I thought this was the best way I could do it. But then I thought it'd be nice to take you guys along with me as well. A um, little bit about myself, I live on Exmoor, hence Exmoor Blades. Um, I've only just got into knife making really, although I've been watching it on YouTube for many years and there's three prime candidates that have led me to this stage. One of them, which you probably all know, is Sandy from Jack Law Blades. Um, Sandy's been fantastic, I've had the pleasure of meeting him a few times and I'm very luckily, I've, I've got a couple of his blades and he was a, a very big force in me starting this. Also, Scott at Wessex Blades. Again, I've had the privilege of meeting Scott a couple of times. Um, I love his the, the differences between Sandy and Scott and the way they make the blades and their styles, and that's you know that's what's inspired me. And thirdly, but definitely not least, is is um, Lee from um, LB Custom Knives, who's unfortunately died, as we all know. But his workmanship and skill and, and just detail were just amazing, and, and I did have the pleasure of meeting him. So. Those have been my three main um, forces for, for starting this channel. And over the, you know, the next few months or whatever, I'm gonna go through what I'm doing, what I've learned from other people, and hopefully putting a bit of a spin on it myself. Um, you know, I've made a start. Um, this, is, this is the first knife I've made. I'll just get it in a bit close. I don't know if that's about right. I've got a helper here beyond the camera. Is that about right? <laughs> yeah. Right, um, so this is the first blade I've made and this is with rosewood scales. Um, didn't do any liners and just plain brass pins because I just wanted to see what I could do. And as you can see, I, I've tried, tried to bring the, the grind right up through, as you can probably see there. I don't know if that's focusing, is it, Elle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can probably see there. But that's the first one I've made, um, and I'm pretty proud of that. Um, this is a kitchen knife for my daughter. She's training to be a chef and she wanted a just a standard kind of kitchen knife so this is what I've made for her again you know usual kind of test you know the things you know razor sharp it'll cut paper and all that stuff but I'm sure you don't need me to do that um, again this is walnut scales with plain brass pins and this is the kind of style she wanted so that was the second knife I've made and this is my third project now this is something I wanted to do differently. This is again going to be a kitchen style knife. The steel I'm using for all these blades is either 1070 or 1080. Um, because obviously the difficulty is with 1095 or tool steel with the heat treats. But that's something I'll go through because I've got a, a pretty good system. I've got a devil forge and I've got a pretty good system of actually monitoring temperatures pretty close. So I think tool steel possibly be able to do or 1095 at least. But there we go. That's my kind of knife setup at the moment. Um, oh, there's one more there I'm doing which is for my daughter she wanted just a, like a little general knife for her which I'm making now um, and that's gonna have Kiranite scales on it um, so basically that's where I'm up to at the moment I'll keep this video short because I don't want to bore everybody um, like I say over the next few videos I'll go through the kit I've got what modifications I've done to the kit as you can probably see I've got you know the basic stuff drill press I've got the basic 1x30 Clark, which is where most of us start, and I've got myself my, my bandsaw now, and then down here, I don't know if you can show it, I've managed to get myself an anvil, and that's my forge down there. But so as you can see, it's a pretty basic setup, but I'm getting really good results with it. Um, and I think this is going to be a really good journey for me, for my health. And also, hopefully, you know, it gives me an opportunity to progress and possibly get to the stage where I can sell some knives. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you uh, you can put up with the bad editing on this video. You know, it's not going to be the best because we're working on very basic stuff here. But there we go. And thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye.